You have a strange stare, and I said, Leave me alone. These guys are not gonna leave me be. Even your thoughts are love. Can't you leave us alone, Monis and I? Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Is there anybody else? These are the three there. There's one more. Well, that's Sister Fija. Music is um, unsettling, and I don't know if that's a design or not. Do you want something? Enough questions. I think we've gotten all the information we can. Ooh, there's somebody else over here. Birtir Dumad, an Almanawi. What do you want? <clears throat> this question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. Huh. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. <clears throat> Go and bother someone else. You're different from the others. What is your role in this village? Different? Why? Well, for one, you answer me when I speak. You others, when we don't answer you, you start digging for answers everywhere else. I am a gatherer. I hunt a little. I do my part for the life of the village. Okay. That's the timer. Let's see, let's go ahead and finish this conversation. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? <clears throat> that is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong, said that nature was just nature and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her huh, trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods or cross paths with wild beasts. I must leave now. Thank I, you for your help. I did do some upgrading on uh, Siora there. A little bit of animists. A little bit of pantheist.
pretty limited on depth because no. fiction. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps yeah, because you're aggressive. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but they don't seem all that keen to talk. Because and she's did they aggressive. Tell you anything worth sharing? I know a little more. And they about think you're beliefs. like her. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the luminous faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet there is something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. We could break one of his pots. That would keep him busy. Or we could ask for help. I can pretend to be clumsy. But we'll have to be fast. And it will only work once. I think actually I kind of prefer to get help. Let me see if that option is a thing. No, no, it's just uh, divert the worried man's attention. Oh, there we go. Do you want something? Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? More questions? You really like this game. You really do. If we could avoid... Very well. But be brief then, because it is not good fun. Here we what go. can you tell me about that man down there? Him and he seemed <clears throat> nervous. Don't hold it against him. The people of the light have already questioned us. That makes him distrustful. He is a man of few words, but he is devoted to the village and listens to the Dene God with great attention. He is a gatherer, but everyone knows he wants to become the next Voglendike, the next servant of Dene God. Interesting. Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling is right in front of my own. I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. Ask her for her I help. I really need to go inside. I must verify something. If you can help us... This request is strange. I know it is for you as well. But we must prove that these suspicions cast upon our village are not true. These people of Teleme will not give up their search without this. Hmm. Very well. I shall distract him, but be discreet and very quick. And be respectful of what you find there. Be good. I wonder, are we going to... Are we going to find out that the, uh, that's where we want to go? That we start growing horns out of our head, too? What a horrible mask. How can someone wear such a thing unless they're worshipping some dark creature? This is just a mask they wear in battle to intimidate their enemies. Nothing more. This altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult. Far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. The man that worships a magic lamp speaks of being naive. Oh, how it is charming. Siora, I am sorry. What I really wanted to say was that 
Leave it, old man. I know exactly what it is you want. Oh, that's to great. We're not done here. Hello. This painting is frightening. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Aphesia. Uh, Sior, do you have anything to say? I speak to you? It says I can. But it doesn't give me the prompt anymore. Kinda wish... That Siora had a commentary on that. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, Not a rather troubling. morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre by the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he will not lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. <clears throat> okay, thankfully we have a... Um nice present campsite right over here to do that with. Oh boy. I'm wondering if the music here is from the game, or if it's supposed to be something they're actually playing. Perhaps we could hide and wait here. Then we will be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. My child, it's time to wake up. Our nervous friend is here. Where are you going? This is not encouraging. Let's 
I was wanting to get through that without fighting. <coughs> Excuse me. paths here. Do we really want to be collecting ingredients while we're on a important Observation. Where could our man have gone? He must have gone through this door made out of roots. This does not look pleasant. What's happening? You are so pale. Did the lightning-struck tree speak to you? In a way. I saw many images. They were so real. As if I was the tree itself. Do tell. This vision is surely the key to the portal. I was this tree. And my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant and flames began to devour me. Life <clears throat> left me. All was calm and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel and the rain began to fall on my roots and at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. 